everybody, and welcome to the Go Big and Go Home collaboration with Massey Art Studio. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so I will be doing the video first, obviously, and followed by Jeremy and Lee at 3.30 right after this video is over. So don't forget to stay tuned and head on over to Massey Art Studio to check out their collaboration port. It's going to be a good one. Now, before I get started, super quick, um, because I do have to make this a 30 minute video because it is a YouTube premiere. Um, so I thought it would be a good time to show you guys some new stuff I got today. So I had a lot of people ask me um, in the last couple of videos um, or even in emails or private messages, um, who won with the magic mug? I have no idea. Um, all magic mugs were shipped out last week, so um, it depends. I have no idea who's got the mug. I have no idea where the mug is. Um, there are mugs that have gone to UK, Australia, Greece. I sent one to Chile, um, Chile. So I, like they're all over the world. So it really just depends on when it arrives to the lucky winner. So I don't know um, who's got the mug yet. Um, but the magic mug, if you saw in my last video, I think at the very end, it says congrats on it. So if you've got the mug that says congrats on it, you are the lucky winner. So I wanted to show you guys, I got another mug. And um, so I'm going to fill her up here for you guys and show you what we got going on today. So let's uh, take a moment, shall we? And while this is working, I am going to tell you guys um, nothing because it's working. <laughs> so I now have the magic mug in the purple design. Look at that. So there you have it. And it says, it's so pretty. There you go. So now you can get a purple magic mug. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Okay, but wait. There's more. What's this? Another magic mug? Well, you know what? Just in case I don't burn myself, <laughs> let's let's just pour some or break the mug. Let's just pour some fresh hot water in this one without putting my hand there because I don't feel like burning myself today. All right. Let's see what happens with this one. Wait for it. Oh. <gasps> It's pink, a pink. If you saw my last video where I did the pink 24 by 24 inch piece, I have now made it a design. So here you have it. It is a pink magic mug and look what it says. It is what it is. That's what it says. It is what it is. So I have now the blue magic mug, which is Sophia's design a purple magic mug that says it's so pretty and now we have a pink magic mug that says it is what it is speaking of pink pink tumblers so I now have a pink tumbler and it says it is what it is so there you have your pink tumbler with your straw then I have the pink wine tumbler and it says anywho so there you go you've got pink and then, of course, the 15 ounce pink mug. So the magic mugs are 12 ounce. This is a 15 ounce magic mug. And it says it is what it is. And then I've got the purple 15 ounce mug. It says it's so pretty. There you go. And finally, no, two more things. Look at this. It's a camper's mug. It's uh, made out of that melamine, melamine. I don't even know how you pronounce it. But anywho, look how cute this is. This is actually a cute cup for kids too because it won't break. Um, so look at that. This is super cute. So this is a new camper's mug. That's what it's called, the camper's mug. And I can do it in the purple and the pink design or the multi design, whichever one you please. So that is new. And the last thing I'm going to show you really quick is my new sequin flip pillow. So you all know I have the blue one. Now I have pink and purple. 
Look at this. So this is the purple design with a pinky background. All right. Look how cool that is. I love it. Look at that. So this is now available as well. And it's got such a soft backing to it. Oh, it's super soft. So there you have it. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, enough messing around. We got a lot to do today. So I am going to put all this away, put the hot water away. I'm gonna get myself situated and I'm gonna bring you guys down and let's get started because you're not gonna believe what we are up to today. Be right back. All right, everybody, here we go. So we have here nine, that's right, nine 10 by 10 inch canvases, okay? And I have them all laid out and I have them all leveled. So lots of them have popsicle sticks underneath. So these are canvases I will not be moving to scrape drips or anything like that when I am done because it's not happening. Okay, I have come up with a design you can probably see on the canvas and I have put it down on paper so that I know what I'm doing once I cover it all with the base paint. Um, before I forget really quick, for those of you who want to buy some merch, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. I failed to mention that. Um, price list um, is on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and I will try to remember to put it at some point in this video somewhere, okay? Or just email me and I'll give you prices, okay? So what I have is my Dutch pour mixture, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White mixed with Floetrol and water. So I am going to flood all these and I'm gonna speed you guys up. I flooded all the canvases. So the colors I am using, nine colors, nine canvases, nine colors, two, four, six, it just gotta make sure there's nine. <laughs> okay, we are starting with Primary Magenta by Windsor & Newton. Then we have Windsor Violet by Windsor & Newton. Then we have Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo, followed by Indanthrene Blue by Holbein. Then we have Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam, a color I have yet to use, followed by, by Iridescent Blue Black by Pebeo. Then we have Luminous Rose by Holbein. We have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And topping it off, Windsor Blue by Windsor Newton. Did you notice there's no gold in there? So I decided not to put a gold in there um, I'm going to keep it dark and rich, and I have uh, one, two, three iridescents, so let's hope that's enough to create some cells. Um, okay, so I've got my cheat sheet here, so I'm going to start with this, concentrate, and then I will chit chat with you guys while I'm applying the rest of the lines, but for now, let's, uh, I gotta, I gotta, con uh, drip, drip, gotta concentrate on what I'm doing here first because I don't want to mess this up. I still don't know how I'm going to blow this out. So we are starting here and going up like this. And then from here, we are going like this. And then from here, we are going down here. And then from here, up in the middle. And then from the middle, from the middle to here. And then down here, we're gonna do a little wispy over here, which will then bring it down here, and then from here to here. And then up here, I'm gonna come over here. We are going to do, now I'm looking at this backwards, which really sucks. So let's see, down to the middle. So from here, we're gonna go here. I, I gotta come back and face the right way. 
And then from here, we are going to go like that. And then from here, down to here. <laughs> there you have it, folks. Now what that's gonna blow out into, who knows, cause I sure don't. All right, colors are, the first colors are down, so now I can follow with the rest. This should be easy. So while I'm doing this, I wanted to thank you all for the lovely and kind words you guys all said about my family um, from the pictures that I posted in the last video. Um, you guys said really nice things. My brother's good looking and handsome family and blah, blah, blah. You guys are so funny. There were some pretty funny comments in there. So thank you guys so much for the um, very nice flattering comments. And uh, so let me tell you guys this while I'm doing this. I have had one bottle of Floetrol left. And so I called Deluxe Paint Store, the one close to my house. And I said, how many you got? And can I do curbside? And they said, well, we only have one gallon. And yes, you can do curbside. And I thought, well, one gallon is not going to do me any good. So I called the other store, which is like 35 minutes away. I called them and they're like, well, we have two gallons. So I said, okay, looks like I'm on a road trip today. So I went to the one store, got the one gallon, went to the other store, got the two gallons. And then I was telling my merch lady, Serena, my conundrum. And she says, oh, there's one on my way home where I live. Let me call and find out. So she calls and they've got 10 gallons. <laughs> 10 gallons so I bought another four so I now have seven gallons so thankfully I'm thanking my lucky stars that I was able to do curbside and pick them up because as of uh, midnight tonight um, they are enforcing a full out lockdown you are not allowed to leave your house unless you're going grocery shopping and if you are stopped by the police like, it's just ridiculous. Like we, you know, it's, it's bad. So I don't know. I don't even know what's going to be open if you're allowed to do curbside. So I ended up going to the dollar store because I'm on my last roll of tape. And I was like, they had all sections cordoned off. You couldn't go to the craft section. They had it roped off. You couldn't go to like, um, you know, the... What other sections? Uh, the school supply section for the kids. You couldn't go to that. They had everything roped off. And I was like, oh, with my luck, I'm gonna go to the section where they have tape and that's gonna be roped off. And I go and half the aisle is roped off, but there was one four foot section, one, one four foot section that wasn't taped off. And it was the section with the paint. And you know what? I hope you guys can hear me because I don't have my microphone on because my son took my microphone and used it and forgot to turn it off. And when I went to go and use it, it was dead. So I hope you can hear me now better. I hope you could hear me better before, but I just realized that I'm not wearing my microphone. Sorry guys, I hope you could hear me. So anywho, the one section was not roped off. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So I guess tape is considered an essential need. I don't know since when, but I wasn't gonna complain nor was I gonna ask. So I grabbed a basket and I bought like 20 rolls of like green tape and like another 10 rolls of packing tape. So when I pack my pieces, holy crikey, this is a lot of paint. I'm busy chitter chattering and not even paying attention to how much paint is on the canvas is canvases oh my goodness so anywho i managed to get paint uh i managed to get flow troll i managed to get tape so i'm okay thank goodness now to everybody who emailed me or messaged me and was so kind and said you know tell me what you need i'll send you what you need you guys are so sweet. I love you guys. You guys always have my back. No joke. 
always have my back. But thank you so much to everyone who offered to help me out. I cannot thank you enough. You guys are the best. So I have everything I need for now. I've stocked up as much as I can. So hopefully I'm okay. Now, if anyone can get me some Australian flow troll, I'd be a happy gal. I would love to try that stuff. I hear all kinds of stuff about it. So I'd love to get my hands on some Australian flow troll. I wanna try some more blues with the flow troll because everybody raves about how great the Australian flow troll is with the uh, bloom technique. So I would love to try that. Okay, um, I don't know how this is gonna work. I tell you this, these stripy colors are beautiful, um, but I just don't know how this is gonna pan out because these are such small canvases. And I'm, I, the last thing I wanna do is scrape anything. Um, that worries me like crazy. I don't wanna scrape and start all over again. So um, please wish me luck. I'm gonna start up there. So, you know, if I have to, for whatever reason, lean over, I don't wanna mess anything up. So let me start up here. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay. Um, um, all right. What I wanna do is blow this way. Okay, well, let's go. Okay, so this little blotch here and this one here, big like fail there. Okay, now I touch the canvas here. Now, okay, first things first, the colors I love. So that means the next time I do a big piece, I am going to be using these colors for sure. Okay, I love the colors. Uh, the only exception I might take out is the um, iridescent blue black because it kind of looks great in certain spots. So now I'm gonna, I have to mess with this. And so this was a disaster. So let's, uh, let's play, shall we? Where's my squeeze bottle? Over here. So I want negative space separating these guys. Like so.
So there's some cells, not a lot of cells, but I kind of knew that. That, that 24 karat gold really does a, a lot in terms of making cells. There are some really pretty hard lines in here though, I gotta say. Ooh, purple. Look at that. There's some purple under there. Okay, that's good. Ooh, the indanthrene blue never fails. Never, never fails. Okay, move my light back here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the middle there. I like that one. That's gonna stay. This needs work. This here. All right, let's play. That's better. And for those of you wondering if I'm getting dizzy, not yet. This one's a little hard because it's kind of close. Um, that stays. This one, meh. oh my gosh, I love this one's my favorite so far. And then I don't even know how I'm gonna get up there. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get to that. Um do 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 <laughs> Hey it's small enough, I can move it. Why not? Uh, yeah, I got my necklace in there. I think the problem with this one was I didn't um, have enough base paint. I couldn't reach it. There's goop in there. Get out. I know you probably can't see what I'm doing, but it's the only way I can get to this one. Okay, I'm going to put it back. I put it back okay I think that's good uh, okay let's see where we're at okay I actually like the way this is so I'm not gonna touch that I think my favorite panel is this one and okay I am going to put you guys on pause I'm going to fix my edges probably come back in an hour because that's how long it's gonna take me and then I'll show you guys a close-up. All right, everybody. Uh, I cannot begin to tell you how long it took me to mess around with the edges. So let's just start down here, shall we? So this is what I was talking about, about the iridescent blue-black, kind of making it grayish. So when I do this again with these colors, I am going to take that one color out. Um, all right, so then we have this panel here which I'm liking. And now you'll see there's a lot of hard lines in there, like really solid colors, obviously, because blowing out on a 10 by 10 is not fun and not the easiest. So here is panel number three. Like, I mean, the colors are gorgeous. This is my favorite panel. I'm gonna come over here on this side, but this is my favorite panel so far. And even this one, even though there's a solid stripe in the middle, I really like it. And then I'm going to reach over. No, I'm not going to reach over. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you guys this one. This one I like as well. This one I really like. This one is a hot mess, but that's okay. <laughs> and then this one I like too. 
And then this one is so-so. So I think overall out of nine panels, um, I'm really happy with most of them. I think just um, this one up here, I'm not crazy about. And uh, the little bit of gray that's on here, I'm not crazy about. But considering these are small canvases, and there's nine of them. I think I did a pretty good job. So I don't think there's any shimmer going on in here. Um, at least I don't think so. Not so much. So I'm not going to bother with the flashlight or the ring light. So there you have it. Um, these are available for purchase. If you are interested in purchasing this set of nine, um, you can email me at canellaseracle at gmail.com. Uh, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed uh, this collaboration. Don't forget, you're going to head over now to Massey Art Studio and you're going to check out the boys. They're doing their individual nine panel pours. So don't forget to head on over there. Uh, thank you to Jeremy and Lee. You guys are awesome. I'm so glad I did this with you guys. You guys are the best. Um, I hope to do more with you guys in the future. So that is it for now, guys. Uh, again, thank you to everybody for your support. Um, if you are not a subscriber, I would love it if you would hit that subscription button and that notification bell. And if you're interested in any merch, email me at canelosaraco at gmail.com. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.